Well, it's cold and original and made to cater to a beer drinker's palate. Craft beers are sweeping the nation, and that includes right here in Arkansas, where more than 20 breweries have popped up throughout the state. So what's with this craft brew craze? Channel 7's Maureen Glisevic is here with the answer. Maureen? After talking to some of the local brewers here in central Arkansas, it's clear that more and more beer drinkers are seeking out unique brews to satisfy their taste buds. A quote from founding father Thomas Jefferson shows that beer has been a part of American society since the beginning. Today, a new revolution is sweeping the country, the craft beer revolution. To see the impact that craft beer is having, just check out your local liquor store. Many are now dedicating rows and rows to highlight the vast variety of beer that is being produced around the country with names like Little Helper, Wintergrind, and Spiffy Bridges. Originality is definitely the key. This craft beer craze is now filtering down to Arkansas with over 20 local breweries around the state. What's behind the sudden surge? So whether it's coffee, whether it's wine, whether it's fine food, people are really uh, looking for a better quality product. And uh, craft beer is uh, certainly on the forefront of that. Little Rock Stones Throw Brewing opened a little over a year ago and features a tap room with an on-site brewing facility. Co-owner Ian Beard says they also supply to around 15 local bars and restaurants. Our beer has become extremely popular uh, among some of the uh, um, the better restaurants in town. Uh, it's uh, it's a, a beer that, uh, that pairs very well with different foods, uh, the, the different varieties that we have. Just down the road in downtown Little Rock, two more breweries are set to open by the end of December. Lost 40 Brewing is focusing not only on its beer, but is planning on providing a full menu as well. Beer and food are good together. I love German food. And, you know, this, this space here, you can see these giant long tables. It's like a German beer hall. We're taking some of those classic German food, and then we're smashing that together with some Delta cooking, which is my roots. For Blue Canoe Brewing's owners, what started as a hobby is now turning into a business. We brewed our first batch, and it was very good, and we decided to share that beer with other people, essentially. We kept brewing with one another, and... and uh, came up with additional recipes and then basically thought, well, why don't we share this with other people and turn it into a business. Diamond Bear Brewery was founded 14 years ago, and while it's not new to the central Arkansas scene, they have recently opened a new facility in North Little Rock, giving it one of the largest beer production capacities in the state. The, the facility is a wonderful facility. We're in a great neighborhood, but it also has the uh, added advantage of allowing us to have a bigger tap room, small restaurant, and a bigger retail shop. Owner Russ Melton says he doesn't necessarily look at these new breweries as competition. One of the things I like about it is the people, not just the crappier customer, but the, uh, the other brewers. Uh, there's much more of a, a brotherhood or a camaraderie than there is in, in most other businesses. The same sentiment comes from Vino's, Little Rock's longest running brew pub, which opened in 1990 and started brewing beer in 1993. I like it, you know. More the merrier, it develops the culture of beer, of especially good beer in Little Rock. We've got some diehard regulars, and just like everybody else, you know, we drink at other establishments around town. I think people are just going to make the circuit. Local brewers say the cooperation in their community will help them grow in the future. We're all, all working towards the same goals of, of really just raising the profile of local beer in Arkansas. We're a collective of breweries here in Little Rock. There's more opening all the time. And uh, we have a unique opportunity to really be able to band together, building awareness throughout the community for this great locally made artisan product. And the future is definitely looking bright. According to a recent Brewers Association study, by 2020, craft beer production is expected to more than double its current shares.